Klein, uh, I have uh, some questions for you. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, you are testifying today on water-related matters on behalf of the Department of Interior. So uh, we would all presume you have experience in Endangered Species Act matters and water storage matters, which are clearly related to today's hearing, yes or no? Uh, yes, thank you for the question. Those, those are uh, certainly issues that are relevant to today's discussion. That is wonderful. Um, while those are certainly important topics, um, while researching some of your history, um, I found some conflicts. And Ms. Klein, uh, the White House pulled your potential nomination to be the, de the Deputy Secretary because your conflicts of interest were so severe that you faced bipartisan opposition. Has the, the Ethics Office at the Department provided you with a rec recusal list? Yes or no? Uh, thank you for that question. Yes, I am and have been consulting on an ongoing basis with our ethics officials uh, and taking my responsibilities uh, and ethics requirements seriously. And I have a, an ethics agreement that I operate under. Okay, so you have been provided with a recusal list. Who and what matters are you currently recused from? And would you provide um, this committee with that full list? I'm happy to provide a list. Great, thank you. Um, we will um, expect that and submit that into the record. Thank you so much. Now let's talk about um, probably the worst conflict of interest. Um, you were the de deputy director at the State Energy and Environmental Impact Center at the NYU School of Law, or SEEIC. According to um, an email um, that I have here uh, dated August 25th, um, 2017, SEEIC sent emails to numerous Democrat attorney general's offices stating that it would provide state AG offices with legal assistance from three full-time attorneys, communications help from a full-time communications expert, and that there was funding available to recruit and hire special assistant attorney generals to work as staff for the actual state attorney general's office. So now, please, uh, Ms. Klein, let me get this straight. Michael Bloomberg funneled private money through SEIC that you used as deputy director to hire and pay special assistant attorney generals that worked for the state AG offices and sued the Trump administration on energy, climate change, and environmental regulations. So basically, SEIC helped infiltrate state governments with Green New Deal extremists for the sole purposes of suing the federal government on environmental policies you all disagreed with, yes or no? Uh, Ms. Klein, you're welcome to answer that question, but I do want to advise members that they should keep their questions and remarks limited to the subject matter under consideration in today's hearing. That is under Committee Rule 3D, but please proceed. Uh, thank you. I'm certainly happy to provide information about the work of the center where the center can provide you with information about their work. Again, I take my ethics obligations very seriously at the Department of the Interior. Um, Okay, and, um, and and thank you for your comment, um, Mr. Chairman. Um, when senior officials from the Trump administration came before this committee, you were one of the members who asked similar questions about conflicts of interest in order to increase transparency, transparency and hold them accountable. And so I request the same uh, courtesy. Uh, thank you. Um, now, Ms. Klein, did uh, SEEIC also make available three full-time attorneys to attorney general offices from different states and, uh, the, and or the District of Columbia, yes or no? Uh, so I take my ethics obligations at the Department of Interior seriously. I work closely with our ethics officials to make sure that I abide by all of my recusal responsibilities. Reclaiming my time. Thank you so much. Um, it's unfortunate that you're coming before this committee um, and not providing uh, adequate information. Uh, Mr. Chairman, serving at the highest levels of federal agencies... Uh, is no place for extremist partisan hacks that are compromised by special interests. I'm grateful that Senator Manchin agreed and kept Ms. Klein from being the Deputy, Deputy Secretary of Interior. Unfortunately, she still managed to slither her way into a high-level position at the department that doesn't require the scrutiny of a public confirmation process. I believe it's incredibly important that Ms. Klein be recruited from all matters she directly worked on while in the private sector. 
director that she be recused from all matters being worked on by those she hired and placed in assistant attorney general's offices. And to be honest, this woman is so compromised that she should be recused from working for any American taxpayers, period. Thank you.